<laughs> Man's best friend. <laughs> well, it's good seeing you all here. As you know, we're going to put on the Christmas play. Due to the shortage of time, we'll get right down to work. One of the first things to ensure a good performance is strict attention to the director. I'll keep my direction simple. If I point to the right, it means focus attention stays right. If I make a slashing motion across my throat, it means cut the scene short. If I make a revolving motion with my hand, it means pick up the tempo. If I spread my hands apart, it means slow down. It's the spirit of the actor that counts, the interest they show in their director. Am I We're going to do it right. Lucy, get those costumes and scripts and pass them up. Now the script girl will be handing out their parts. Lightness, you've got to get rid of that stupid blanket. And here, memorize these lines. I can't memorize this. This is ridiculous. Memorize it and be ready to recite when your cue comes. I can't memorize something like this so quickly. Why should I go through such agony? Give me one good reason why I should memorize that. I'll give you five good reasons. One, two, three, four, five! Those are good reasons. Christmas is not only getting too commercial, it's getting too dangerous. And get rid of that stupid blanket! What's a Christmas shepherd gonna look like holding a stupid blanket like that? Well, this is one Christmas shepherd who's gonna keep his trusty blanket with him. You wouldn't hit Mrs. Shepherd now, would you? Sally, <laughs> come here! What do you want her for? She's gonna be your wife! Good boy! <laughs> Isn't he just the cutest? Oh, he has the nicest sense of humor. Snoopy, you will have to be most of the animals in the play. Can you be a cow? How about a horse? How about a camel? Very funny. How about a penguin? Yes, he's even a good penguin. Listen, all of you, you've got to take direction. You've got to have discipline. You've got to have respect for your <laughs> I ought to slug you. Oh, I've been kissed by a dog. I have dog germs. Get some disinfectant. Get some hot water. Get some iodine. <laughs> <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> All right, Mr. Director, the cast is set. Take over. All right, let's have quiet. Places, everybody. Schroeder, set the mood for the first scene. We've got to get on with our play. That's right. What about my part? What about the Christmas Queen? Mm -hmm. Are you going to let all this beauty go to waste? You do think I'm beautiful, don't you, Charlie Brown? You didn't answer me right away. You had to think about it, didn't you? If you had really thought I was beautiful, you would have spoken right up. I know when I've been insulted. I know when I've been insulted. Good grief. All right, let's take it from the top again. Places. Action. to get this play off the ground, we've got to have some cooperation. What's the matter, Charlie Brown? Don't you think it's great? It's all wrong. Look, Charlie, let's face it. We all know that Christmas is a big commercial racket. It's run by a big Eastern syndicate, you know. Well, this is one play that's not going to be commercial. Look, Charlie Brown, what do you want? A proper mood. We need a Christmas tree. Hey, perhaps a tree. A great big shiny aluminum Christmas tree. That's it, Charlie Brown. You get the Christmas tree and I'll handle this crowd. Okay, I'll take Linus with me. The rest of you, practice your lines. And get the biggest aluminum Christmas tree you can find. Maybe painted pink. Yeah, do something right for a change, Charlie Brown. Yeah. <laughs> I 
wonder if they still make wooden Christmas trees. This little green one seems to need a home. I don't know, Charlie Brown. Remember what Lucy said. This doesn't really fit the modern spirit. I don't care. Oh, we'll decorate it, and it will be just right. Besides, I think it needs me. 